Holy Father, as we come to this time, as we continue our worship of you uh, during the time that we get to celebrate the death of your son, his body given, his blood shed at the cross. I pray you would bless this time. I pray that you would be glorified in this time. In Jesus, it is always in your great name we pray. Amen. Please open your Bibles to Revelation chapter 5, verse 9. Revelation chapter 5, verse 9. Revelation chapters 4 and 5 set the stage for the divine judgment that is about to be poured out on sinful humanity. About to be poured out on sinful humanity that will culminate in the physical return of Christ to reign on the earth. Chapter 4 takes us to the throne of the Lord God the Almighty with four angelic beings flying around it that day and night do not cease to say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God, the Almighty, who was and who is and who is to come. And there are 24 elders who fall down and worship him, saying, Worthy are you, our Lord and our God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and because of your will, they existed and were created. Then, in chapter 5, we have a book or a scroll that is in the right hand of the Almighty. And then the question in heaven is, who is worthy to open the book and to break its seals? Who has the worthiness of character to open it, break its seals, thus ushering in divine holy wrath upon a rebellious world. A search of the entire universe is made and yields no results. No one is found worthy. Then, the attention of heaven is upon a lamb standing as if slain. And when he takes the scroll from the one sitting on the throne, the focus of heaven's worship changes to the Lamb. And that brings us to our verse today. Please follow along as I read Revelation chapter 5, verse 9. And they sang a new song, saying, Worthy are you to take the book and to break its seals, for you were slain and purchased for God with your blood men from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. Jesus Christ, the second person of the triune God, is the Lamb. And the four angelic beings and the 24 elders declare that he is worthy. He is worthy to take the book and to break its seals. He is worthy to usher in and carry out divine judgment upon a rebellious world. He is worthy to take and establish his kingdom on the earth. He alone is worthy. The rest of verse 9 explains why he is worthy. It says, for you were slain. You were slain. 2,000 years ago, Jesus, the Lamb of God, was nailed to the cross. The innocent lamb was slaughtered. Verse 9 also says, speaking of Jesus, that you purchased for God with your blood men from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. Jesus purchased believers for God. They are now his property. They no longer have sin as their slave master, but they are now enslaved to a merciful and gracious almighty God. Verse 9 also says that it was with Jesus' blood that believers were purchased. The blood that Jesus shed at the cross was the currency used to purchase believers out of the slave market of sin.
This is the time of our worship service. This is a time for us to worship the lamb that was slain. It's a time for those who have been purchased to remember the body and the blood of Jesus at the cross. If you're here today and you haven't submitted your life to Christ, you haven't by his grace repented and turned from your sins to turn to Christ, then we ask as the elements come that you would simply pass them by. But you need to consider that divine judgment is coming. The wrath of the Lamb is coming, and there is no hiding from it. As long as there's breath in your lungs and a beat of your heart, there's an opportunity to turn, an opportunity to repent, an opportunity to turn from your self-rule and submit to Christ. We ask that you would do that now. Please come talk to me or any one of the other pastors the person who brought you, we'd love to discuss the mercy and grace that can only be found in Christ. Believers, you've been purchased. You've been purchased by Christ for God. And the price of your purchase was the infinitely valuable blood of our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. As you consider this, Let's let our worship join with heaven's with heaven's worship as it builds towards the crescendo found in verses 11 through 14. Then I looked and I heard the voice of many angels around the throne and the living creatures and the elders and the number of them was myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands saying with a loud voice, worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and honor and glory and blessing. And every created thing which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and on the sea and all things in them I heard saying, to him who sits on the throne and to the lamb be blessing and honor and glory and dominion forever and ever. And the four living creatures kept saying, amen. And the elders fell down and worshiped. As your hearts are prepared, please take communion on your own. Amen, please serve us.